guys and um, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our second vlog that we have started producing. Um, if you can't tell by the name of our channel, it's McCabe Academy and we are a homeschooling family. We have six kids all together. This is the youngest, Olivia, all of which are homeschooled. Um, well, our oldest isn't homeschooled anymore. He actually has graduated and is getting ready to start college. Uh, the reason that we decided to start making YouTube vlogs was to document our homeschool, a little bit of our life. Um, so on the vlogs, we plan on doing some homeschool tutorials, um, answering questions about what it's like to be a homeschooling family, and also um, document and, and tape some field trips that we go on. So you are welcome to join us. Um, on today's episode, which is our second episode, uh, we are going to be covering the topic of money value and how to uh, painlessly teach coin value to young kids. Um, this is Olivia, she is seven, and uh, I realized a couple of days ago that she did not have a really great grasp of um, how much each coin is worth. <laughs> She barely knew the names of the coins. <laughs> so um, we have started working on that. And um, I thought that it would be a nice idea to share how we have learned the um, values of the coins and the names of the coins and how to make change. Um, so, Olivia, how is it? Has it been a hard process? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but has it been fun? Okay, so we have some games that we're going to share with you. Olivia is going to help share. And then um, we also have a lap book that um, we're putting together, and it's all about money. And if you don't know what lap books are, they are fantastic for homeschooling. Um, they're great because they break up subjects into tiny little little bits. And um, for kids who like art, <laughs> they're kind of like putting together a little art piece, and then you can have them to refer back to. And so we are actually going to be putting together a lap book also. And um, everything that I have used for this video, um, I will be putting where I got the, the pieces in the comments. So all of the little printables, um, they're all free. And um, I'm gonna put the links in the comments below. So um, here we go. So for the first activity, um, is really 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 easy um, for the kids so this is this is basically it's just a little vegetable tray that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and inside um, we put some spare change that we just have lying around and um, all this is is just getting the kids familiar with the coins I mean they're probably already somewhat familiar with them but really getting the names um, of the coins uh, down and getting and starting to get their value down and just kind of um, getting used to this is always a penny this is always a nickel this is always a dime this is always a quarter um, and so really this is easy it's just sorting um, sometimes if you want to or some people might put um, in each one like the values you know like pennies go here and they might write it in or something but um, I have found that just with her just telling her this is a quarter, we're gonna put quarters in this area. This is a penny, we're gonna put pennies in this area. This one is a dime, it'll dimes will go here. And then nickel, Let's see if I can find a nickel. Ha! And there's a nickel, and we'll put nickels in there. And that's enough to get her started with the sorting. Um, and as they're sorting through, just um, talk to them about each coin, you know, so you can, Say like these are these are pennies. Pennies are copper in color. They um, they're each worth one cent, etc. As they're as they're se separating the coins. This one's a quarter. It has George Washington's picture on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it does. Um, it's worth twenty five cents. They're one of the bigger coins, and you can just talk about them as they're separating the coins out. So that's step number one: is just getting the kids familiar. With the coins. The next activity is a game called Trading Up, and um, this principle is going to be also available in the comments. And uh, the directions for the game it says to roll the dice and take 
that many pennies. Once you have five pennies, make an exchange for a nickel. Continue to make exchanges until you have reached a dollar. Good luck. Now we're going to show you how to play the game. I have Olivia here and I have my <laughs> older son um, here to show you how to play. So basically you take the dice, which by the way I got the dice at um, the Dollar Tree also. For, it was a dollar for five dice. So, Alright, go ahead. You roll the dice and then you take out that amount of change. So she got six. So she knows that she can take out one nickel which is worth how much how many cents is a nickel worth Five. <laughs> and how many pennies one and that makes how many cents do you have there Six. good okay and now it's Liam's turn Liam has four so he takes out four pennies good okay now it's Olivia's turn to roll the dice again and this time she got four Okay, so now you have five pennies, and you can trade them out for what? Liv, what are you trading that out for? Yes. <laughs> because five pennies is worth the same cents as a... Nickel. That's right. Oh. Okay, Liam. And now Liam's trading his in. Alright, and the game continues to go on and on all the way up until you get to a dollar. Now, to make this game a little bit more interesting for my kids, when they get to the dollar, whoever gets to it first gets to do what? Keep it. Keep the dollar, yes. <laughs> Which adds a little bit of extra motiv motivation. So that's pretty much how you play that game. It's pretty fun, and uh, the kids start to grasp the money um, concept really, really quickly with this game. Now for game number three. This is um, a cupcake. These are cupcake holders. Again, got these at the Dollar Tree. I buy a lot of homeschooling things at the Dollar Tree. So um, Olivia's gonna show you how to play. So first thing first, you grab a cupcake holder, and you look inside and what's inside that it says 25 cents so you put 25 cents into the cupcake holder now Liam grabs one and Liam says one penny <laughs> so you put that into the cupcake holder all right Olivia go ahead what does this one say 30 cents so she's going to put 30 cents into the cupcake holder. All right. And um, this is how this game goes also. It's just um, starting to get the idea of what it's like to add up in different ways to make change um, in order to equal a certain amount. Uh, the motivation for this game also, at the end of the game, I let the kids keep the change. <laughs> so again, it motivates them to finish the game out. Okay. So on to the next one. The game that we have is called um, Coin Grab Graph. And basically it's super easy. You can print off these little sheets of paper. And Liam went to go take a shower, so now we're back down to just Olivia here. So you just hand them one of these. And I put the coins in a cup. I got the cup at the Dollar Tree. Anyways. <laughs> So they just grab a handful of the coins, just grab a handful, and in that grab, they're going to um, now graph the amount of coins that they have. And then at the very bottom, it is um, adding up how many pennies you have, how many nickels you have, how much, and how much they're all worth. Um, there is a variable to this, or a variation <laughs> to this game that's actually makes it a little bit more fun and that's is instead of grabbing all of the coins at one time I'll show you so you just grab them one at a time but you don't look so don't look at the ones you're grabbing and just you put it down and now grab another one and you put it down on top of it 
and you grab another one and you put it down on top of it and you grab another one and they all go on top of each other and you start to stack the coins as high as you can stack them and you keep on doing it and you keep on building your stack until the stack is so high that it tumbles over and then at that point you can go ahead and graph how many coins you used and how and how much it was worth so that way you can kind of keep track of how much each one of your stacks was worth so that is a variation of this game to um, make the lap book we haven't made it yet but we're about to um, and all of these printables I will put again in the comments below on this vlog so you will have access to all of these and um, every printable is free and I'll show you exactly where I got it so you can do the exact same thing with your kit if you want to um, the lab books are basically made out of these folders um, you can get them in different colors um, I got this one I got from um, Staples they come in primary colors or they're just folders um, and the way that you make it is you open them up and then you fold them like so it's kind of hard to do one-handed so and that's how you start making that's how you start making the lap book uh, we'll get we'll get into it a little bit more as Olivia starts to make it and you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about so now we are putting together the lap book so you saw how we folded the lap book and how it was just a simple folder to start out with and now we have all of these printables and what we're going to do is we are going to cut them out and we're going to place them in the lap book and make a little activity center so for making a lap book we use construction paper and we use glue and we use scissors and we just cut all of the pieces out and then we're going to just kind of assemble the lap book together and you can be creative as creative as you want you don't have to um, do it like we do and again all of this will be in the comments so you can print them up yourself all right so it's 10 cents that's correct so you're going to write the write 10 in Good job. Mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna glue one more on, huh? Mm -hmm. Look, that's crazy on the glue, Liv. have the finished lap book. It's been a couple hours and we've let the glue dry. We've put everything away. So the way that we did it was out on the front. Here, Liv, let's put it down. So on the front, we have the poem that says, here you can move your, your says penny, penny, easy spent, copper brown and worth one cent. Nickel thick, nickel, nickel thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Dime, dime, little and thin, I remember you're worth ten. Quarter, quarter, big and bold, you're worth twenty-five, I'm told. So that's the beginning of the lap book. And then here's the finished product. So we have Olivia cut out the coins. We put the coins uh, cutouts there. and We cut out some extra coins that were on the worksheet. And then in this little pocket, I just used um, an envelope that we cut in half to make the pocket. And I don't know if you can reach in, but there's letters that are in there for practicing um, spelling all of the coins. So you can spell quarter and dime and nickel. And then over here is the little workbook that came with the lap book. You're going to flip the page that she filled out that says how much is each thing worth. And then here, um, this is a candy shop game, so you could play shopping. And it has kind of a little, like, hints on which 
items you would use or which coins you would use to buy that item so she can play shop with that and I also had gotten these um the set of play money at Target in their dollar bin um, and it comes with change we haven't opened it up yet and it comes with um, bills so she can play uh, and actually use the money without using having to use real money and then on the back oh let me show you this part I forgot so this has the little this is her flip book flip it you want to flip it Liv? and then it tells you what each one is worth the glue still a little bit wet on this and then down here give save and spend and when you open it up it says it's more blessed to give than to receive acts 20 35 and then that kind of folds back up and then on the back of the that book we have the money breakdown so she can um, when she's playing with these she can just put four quarters to make a dollar and then here we have ten dimes would go on here and that makes a dollar and then we have 20 nickels going here we don't have one that says for a hundred pennies but you know, that would be kind of a lot to fit on one shade of paper. And so that is our day today. Um, that's our lap book. We played games, money games, and we learned values um, for the coins. Uh, this is our second video. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, give us a thumbs up. Um, we have a few subscribers. I think we have five. <laughs> And most of them are probably family members. <laughs> but if you like what you see, um, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. And we'll be posting more. We're going to try and um, post things every Friday from here on out. So every Friday, we should have a new video up. Um, so I guess that's it. Hope this helped um, teach kind of a tough subject to little ones. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.